We are going to change this stump into a raccoon peeping from a log. Today's project. Chainsaw carve a stump into a hollow log with a raccoon peeping out the top. With his tail popped out a hole in the back wrapped around the side. While the carver works on the project, we will be joined on this episode with Ricky the Raccoon. He will be giving us some fun facts on raccoon life. While Ricky is gone, here is a raccoon joke. Why did the raccoon cross the road? Because it saw someone else's trash on the other side. Clearly, it has standards. Starting a new day. The carver had to do some fine tuning on his chainsaws, maintenance and chain sharpening. And he is ready to go today. Blocking the stump with a Still Farm Boss MS-270. He has moved on to using a Still MS-171 with a 12-inch carving bar for greater detail and tight cutting. We are now starting to see the characteristics of the raccoon head. Ricky just told me raccoons are smarter than dogs. Recent studies have revealed that raccoons are remarkably intelligent creatures. On the mammal IQ scale, raccoons rank just below monkeys, who in turn rank just below humans. These clever critters can remember specific and complex tasks for years, showcasing their impressive cognitive abilities. Why do raccoons make the best trash pickers? Because sorting through garbage requires an advanced degree in dumpster science. Clearly, they're the true scholars of the animal kingdom. The rough-hewn stump features a raccoon head peeking from its top, its curious expression expertly captured. Walking around, you see the raccoon's tail emerging from a side hole, wrapping around the stump's base, adding a dynamic feel to the carving. The craftsmanship is further personalized with the carver's initials etched into the side. Each angle reveals more of the raccoon's form, hinting at the intricate details to come in the final piece. Burning a rough chainsaw carving is a crucial step to enhance both its durability and aesthetic appeal. This technique, reminiscent of the Japanese art of Shosugiban, has been traditionally used to preserve wood by charring its surface. Originating in the 18th century, Shosugiban was developed to protect wooden structures from decay, insects, and fire. By charring the wood, a protective layer of carbon is formed, making it more resistant to weather and pests. In the context of chainsaw carvings, this method serves multiple purposes. The burning process highlights the grain, creating a striking contrast that accentuates the carving's details and textures. It also provides a rustic aged appearance that many find aesthetically pleasing. Additionally, the charred surface acts as a preservative, extending the life of the outdoor sculpture by protecting it from the elements. Combining traditional chainsaw carving with Shusugi Ban, not only enhances the visual appeal of the piece, but also pays homage to time-tested techniques, blending modern artistry with ancient craftsmanship. This fusion ensures the carving remains both beautiful and durable for years to come. Okay, Ricky, I'll tell them. Ricky wants me to tell you more facts. Raccoons are fascinating creatures known for their cleverness and quirky behaviors making them one of nature's most entertaining animals. One of the funniest facts about raccoons is their incredible dexterity. They have highly sensitive, almost human-like hands that can open jars, doors, and even unlatch cages. This dexterity allows them to cause all sorts of mischief, especially when they raid trash cans and make a mess of a perfectly organized garbage bin. Homeowners often find themselves devising ever more elaborate methods to raccoon-proof their bins only to be outwitted time and again by these furry little problem solvers. Raccoons are also famous for their masked faces, which give them a bandit-like appearance. This mask isn't just for show. It actually helps to reduce glare and enhance their night vision, making them even more effective nocturnal foragers. Imagine a raccoon with a tiny flashlight scurrying around at night, its face illuminated by the moonlight as it meticulously sifts through leftovers. Speaking of food, raccoons are notorious foodies with surprisingly refined palates. They're omnivores and will eat almost anything, but they seem to have a particular fondness for marshmallows. 
It's not uncommon to see a raccoon sitting comfortably, munching on a marshmallow with great satisfaction. This love for sweets often gets them into sticky situations, quite literally, as they delve into camping supplies or picnic baskets in search of a sugary treat. Another amusing aspect of raccoon behavior is their habit of washing their food. Raccoons often dip their food in water before eating it, a behavior that has puzzled scientists for years. Some believe this behavior mimics their natural foraging habits by streams, while others think it might help them identify what they're about to eat. Watching a raccoon delicately dunking a piece of bread in a puddle can be both endearing and hilarious. Lastly, raccoons are quite the chatterboxes. They communicate with over 50 different sounds, ranging from purrs and whistles to growls and screams. This extensive vocal range is used for various purposes, including signaling danger, expressing affection, or simply chatting with their young. Imagine stumbling upon a raccoon family meeting complete with all the noise and excitement like a miniature animal sitcom unfolding in your backyard. All these quirky traits make raccoons endlessly fascinating and amusing, adding a touch of wild charm to any environment they inhabit. Sanding down a chainsaw carving that has been burned with a torch is crucial for several reasons. Primarily, the process enhances the aesthetic appeal of the artwork. Torch burning accentuates the grain and texture of the wood, creating a striking contrast that highlights the details of the carving. However, this technique often leaves a rough charred surface. Sanding smooths out these inconsistencies, giving the piece a more polished and professional finish, which can significantly elevate its visual impact. Furthermore, sanding improves the tactile quality of the carving. A smooth surface is more pleasant to touch and handle, making the artwork more appealing to potential buyers or viewers. Rough, burned wood can splinter or leave soot on hands and clothing, detracting from the overall experience of interacting with the piece. In addition to aesthetic and tactile benefits, sanding also prepares the wood for further treatments, such as staining or sealing. These finishes can protect the wood from environmental damage such as moisture and UV rays, extending the life of the carving. The smooth sanded surface ensures that these protective layers adhere evenly and effectively, providing better long-term durability. Finally, sanding removes any loose or fragile charred material that could deteriorate over time. This step is essential for the structural integrity of the carving, as it prevents future flaking or crumbling that could compromise the artwork's form and stability. In summary, Sanding a torch-burned chainsaw carving is a vital step that enhances its aesthetic appeal, tactile quality, durability, and overall integrity, ensuring the artwork is both beautiful and lasting. A chainsaw carving that has been burned and then sanded exhibits a striking contrast, with the darkened grain accentuated against the smoothed wood surface. This refined texture not only enhances visual depth, but also ensures a clean, even base for subsequent treatments. Sanding removes charred residues, allowing paint, oil, or finish to adhere uniformly. This preparation is essential for achieving a professional, long-lasting result, highlighting the carving's intricate details and protecting it from environmental damage. Now the carver will start an undercoat for painting the raccoon and go on to paint and oil of the carving. And we will see the final results. If you have made this far, we sure do appreciate you. Ricky thinks so as well. Right, Ricky? Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out, as well as liking, sharing, and leaving a comment. If you have any questions, ask anything you would like to know, and I will answer in the comment section. The chainsaw-carved stump stands as a striking centerpiece expertly painted and meticulously finished. Atop the stump, a raccoon's head peeks out, its lifelike expression enhanced by stunning chrome black marbles set into its eyes, which gleam with an almost lifelike curiosity. The craftsmanship captures the raccoon's inquisitive nature perfectly, drawing viewers in for a closer look. Walking around the stump, the scene reveals even more artistry. From a hole on the side, the raccoon's tail emerges, curling gracefully around the base. The tail is meticulously painted with the distinctive black and gray stripes, adding a vibrant touch that contrasts beautifully with the natural wood. The stump itself has been treated with high-quality deck oil, 
giving it a rich, warm hue while ensuring its preservation against the elements for years to come. As you continue to circle the stump, the interplay of textures and colors becomes more apparent, with the carver's initials discreetly etched into the side, a signature of their skilled handiwork. This finished piece combines creativity and craftsmanship, bringing a whimsical yet elegant charm to its surroundings. Thank you and good carving.